If you are a hoop fan, we're pretty sure you've heard of the Ball family. Whether it's outspoken dad LeVar, budding NBA guard Lonzo, or their supporting big baller brand, the balls are embedded deep into the fiber of today's basketball scene. Every day, that's the bad thing. And you only built one size, like, you just look the same. All the yeah. Jello look like he worked in a hair salon. Jello look like he's straight out of the asylum. The big baller brand, the triple Bs. This is our family brand. Next in line is the youngest son of LeVar, 19-year-old LaMelo Ball, who has a legitimate shot at being picked first overall in the 2020 NBA draft. While the teenage athlete's NBA career has yet to begin, LaMelo is already the most famous player in the upcoming draft and the most recognized mystery in basketball. We know of him through his brash and opinionated dad and the iconic last name, two older basketball playing brothers, but for the most part, he remains mostly a concept. Famous for being famous with the role in the family's Facebook show, Ball in the Family, and the however many million Instagram followers. LaMelo's resume is wide but thin. Two high school seasons, eight games in Lithuania, one season for Jackson at Spire Institute in Ohio, a scattering of games in off-the-grid American leagues like the Drew League in Los Angeles, LaVar's short-lived Junior Basketball Association, and finally, the 12 games in Australia. As ambiguous as his basketball path has been, what is most certain is that he will be drafted in the first five picks in the draft, even quite possibly number one. And the highlight clips will show him playing in obscure uniforms in faraway lands, making highlight passes to players you never heard of in places you've probably never been. The fact is, LaMelo never played under college lights and the pressure of the NCAA tournament. Instead, he has lived a life of spectacle. He signed his first autograph at five or six after word of his advanced ball handling skills reached the students at the middle school where his mother, Tina, worked. He played with brothers Lonzo and Leangelo as a freshman at Chino Hills High School on a team that went undefeated in 35 games, won a state championships, and led the nation in fire code violations. The boy dropped 92 points in a game in his sophomore year and received the kind of public scorn normally reserved for people much older than 15. Normally, basketball players progress from high school to college and eventually make their way to the NBA. Safe to say, LaMelo did things a bit differently. On December 11, 2017, LaMelo signed with Priyani of the Lithuanian Basketball League with his brother, Leangelo, becoming the youngest American ever to sign a professional basketball contract. There, LaMelo with his flop of reddish brown hair bouncing with every dribble looked sad and out of place. After all, he was still a kid, skinny and unsure, playing against hardened men who were resented by his very presence. And quote, I was like, you know what? To make him even better, let's just go focus on basketball. Melo didn't have to do all these term papers and chemistry tests and all that. But now Melo would have to grow up fast because you don't have the guys at lunchtime to joke and laugh with. You're just dealing with grown men all the time, said LaVar. LaMelo played in just eight games, averaging roughly six points and two assists. With a few TV episodes in the can and a dispute with the coaching staff brewing, LaVar brought his sons back to Cali. LaMelo then suited up for the Los Angeles Ballers of his dad's junior basketball association, played his senior high school season with Spire Institute, and spent a season with the Illawarra Hawks of Australia's National Basketball League. A bone bruise in his foot cut his season to only 12 games, but during that run, LaMelo averaged 17 points, 6.8 assists, and 7.6 boards. He had triple doubles in each of his last two games. There were moments of transcendence when he would use his length and handle to break down two or three defenders and finish at the rim. But even with just 12 games under his belt, he was named the NBL Rookie of the Year. While that's far from the most conventional basketball career, LaMelo has shown potential at each stop along the way. He left Australia after the 2019-20 season to enter the 2020 NBA Draft where he's projected to be a lottery pick with a decent chance of going first overall. 
Although it's easy to tune out everything that LeVar says, LaMelo actually has legitimate skills. In his recent mock draft, Gary Parrish of CBS Sports had the teenager join the Golden State Warriors as the first overall pick of the 2020 NBA draft. Quote, the first time I saw LaMelo Ball, he was just 13 years old playing with his older brothers against 17 year olds and actually producing. He was little and seemed a little out of place, but he still was a creative shot maker, a brilliant passer, and he forever looked, at least to me, like a possible future NBA player, Parrish said. Fast forward five years and Lonzo's little brother isn't so little anymore. He's now six foot six guard, super skilled, super smart. And if you're looking for the prospect with the highest upside in the 2020 NBA draft, the former California high school star is your guy, he added. What's he got for us? Through the legs. From there again, some early minutes, seven minutes a game, averaging an NBL 20 ball again. Jay Bylis, the NBA draft whiz, also had some weighty comments about LaMelo. Talent-wise, yes, he's as talented as anybody in this draft. I think he and Anthony Edwards are the two most talented players and James Wiseman is not far behind. The concern I have is socially, honestly. He didn't even finish high school in a normal way. He's had kind of a Kardashian upbringing in the game, said Bylis. Maybe he'll be better having played pro ball, who knows, maybe he'll be better, but I have to be convinced that he's on the right side of that question. But he's talented enough to be taken number one. I don't think he will be, but he's talented enough, Bylas added. LaMelo also has the distinction of having his own signature shoe. While LaMelo hasn't officially entered the NBA, the teenager already has the Mellow Ball 1, which came just one week after LaMelo turned 16, making him the youngest athlete ever with a signature shoe. While that record comes with an obvious caveat, after all, the Big Baller brand was founded by his father, giving LaMelo an inside track to his own signature shoe. Still, history is still history. LaMelo is now reportedly finalizing a deal with Puma and will become one of the faces of that company when he joins the league. Without being able to predict the future, it seems like LaMelo Ball has a decent shot at making a name for himself once he hits the NBA hardwood. At this point though, we'll just have to sit back and see what happens. Appreciate the view, subscribe if you're new, and as always, thank you for watching. Facebook, uh, I don't know, everywhere, pretty much everywhere on the internet. Keep the ball going, Marcos. Ball with the steal and the jam.